Jay McCall reporting live. It's Monday night, and we got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just get to it. Uh, had to go food shopping today. Uh, pick up a bunch of produce for the week. And while I was at 99 Ranch over in Jersey City, excellent excellent stuff there. Great, highly recommended for produce. Uh, they had these cotton candy grapes uh, on sale, marked down from 5.99 to 99 cents. And for a buck, I'm thinking, like, these must be full of mold or something. Because 99 Ranch, of all the, the great produce they have, you don't really want to get your strawberries and blueberries there. Um, but I inspected these. There were only a few left on the shelf. Uh, I thought it was too good to be true. Brought them back. And just washed up a bunch. And I, I had one. They're great. Uh, I had never tried a cotton candy grape. Uh, I don't know when these things got on the market. But um, it's, it's kind of like a meme where people are talking about it. It's like, it tastes like cotton candy. And I'm thinking, these just look like green globe grapes. Uh, so let's take one. Take a peek right here. Um, they just look like standard grapes, so if it wasn't for the label on the box, you really wouldn't know. And just trying one of these. Feels like a grape going in. But that when the aftertaste hits and you get the grape pulp in there, it's got that tinge of cotton candy. Now, I don't know if this is just like a mental thing where if you just didn't say it was cotton candy, I would have thought of something else. If you told me this was like a turmeric grape or something, maybe I'd get a hint of turmeric. Probably not, it's a little extreme. Um, but it, I'm, I'm sensing the cotton candy here. It's just, it's, I'm tasting it right now. I just swallowed the grape about 14 seconds ago. I'll put in two. Cotton candy. So anyway, as it usually comes down to it, um, I don't know if I'd recommend it at $5.99, but for a buck, you can't go wrong. Cotton candy grapes, 99 ranch, get them all they last. Uh, next, we were over at Toasties, which you might remember from a previous Jay McCall reporting live episode, where we did the, uh, the reheated brunch that you order early in the day. And you heat it up on a, on a Saturday night or something. And uh, for that, we did Toasty's Brunch. Uh, I'd gone there with Cynthia, and it was excellent. One of the things they got on the menu, I've been going there with a friend of mine, um, Enua, and we've been having a lunch. We get Toasty's a few times. Their turmeric chicken tuna, sorry, a turmeric tuna salad is great on a croissant. A little slice of apple or pear in there with some cheese. Anyway, I digress. They've got this stuff on the menu. That's a honey citron tea. And now Yuri Rusko and I were browsing Costco a while back, and he mentioned this stuff, and he, he wanted to go have these on a big jar like this. And at the time, I was an idiot, and I said, Yuri, that's way too much. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but since then, we went to Toasties, uh, and he went, orders his tea, and it's uh, they're charging five bucks for it. And I knew it was it had to be the same stuff from Costco. So it's they might have a different supplier or something, but it's basically the same thing. It's like a hundred honey jelly jam stuff. Uh, this one, Costco, as they like to do, shuffle through the product, so we couldn't get the, the basic honey citron flavor. This one's got a hint of mango on it. And... Just wanted to try this as well to see how it compares to the tea that um, I bought as well at Toasties. It was, you know, it was a rainy afternoon. We wanted soup and sandwiches, uh, and that's what we got. And so just pouring up, we got our Zojirishu hot water heater up here. Uh, spent way too much of my life without without that. And just gonna crack this open. You can see it's it's jelly, so you can spread it on toast. You can put it in cold water and probably shake it with a cocktail mixer. And you can also put it with hot water, which is what I'm doing right now. And we're just going to mix this up. I'll just give you a peek of what size of the glass there. And you got the little bits of citron in there. Um, definitely the, the colorful honey. It doesn't look like it's super sweet, uh, but it's actually, it's got a great, um, got a great flavor here. Let's give this a go. Just warm and comforting on what you want this kind of like cold, humid weather outdoors. This is just, this warms you right up. So this stuff has to be refrigerated. I know it's it's pretty big. Uh, you're looking at a big commitment here. I recommend uh, buy a jar. This was this was nine ninety nine at Costco in Bayonne. Uh, certainly go on the weekdays because it's a it's a great trip. It's really quick from Hoboken. I'd say about ten minutes. Uh, but anyway, this stuff needs to go in the fridge. Uh, so I'm going to recommend you buy the big jar, uh, portion out into some some small containers. You got say save some mason jars, uh, whatever. Maybe you got some extra UCC containers. We've got dozens of these things sitting around. Um, so that's that. We've gone to two products, probably in record time here uh, for an episode. Uh, you notice stocking back up on the Bomba Man jelly. Uh, so we got some more dishware coming our way. And right back there in the back, uh, past this this giant kombucha melon here, is the Wisps Asiago Pepper Jack. Um, now, those of us who may remember, uh, we're a big fan of Wisps here. Uh, classic Parmesan flavor we've been enjoying for years at Costco. Um, usually wait till they're also priced down. Usually you get a random $4 off, so you get a whole bag like this for about 8 bucks, which is... Great when you consider that if you go to somewhere like Trader Joe's or whatever, they're selling basically an ounce of these things uh, for 2 or $3. Um, and so the Asiago Cheddar, um, oh, sorry, Asiago Pepper Jack, just got a little hint of a little red pepper there. I don't know if you can see it, but 
these have been open for most of the week and I've been making my way through the bag. The Parmesans are fantastic and that's the baseline wisp. But I gotta say, for the, I know they have a several other varieties, but, so I was hesitant to get this because like you don't mess with a good thing. But I'd say the Asiago pepper jack, the Asiago does homage to the, uh, the Parmesan certainly, not the same, but it's got that the hint there. And then the pepper jack, Usually I look at it as like a filler cheese. I'm not big on, like, I don't know what Monterey Jack just sounds like a made up invention. Like it's not a real cheese. But Pepper Jack, you know, you've roped me in there. Now you're throwing a little bit of pepper in there. Um, so really, I don't know what the Monterey Jack is doing in this, but the Asiago and Jack, if you just call it that, let's, oh, I guess it'd be Asiago and Pepper. Um, it does it for me. That's, that's all I got to say. And I, I do want to caution you, even though these are right up there with the Parmesans, don't be, hes um, stop yourself from going through a whole bag. You're going to regret it later. Once the sodium over, over uh, whatever the, uh, you've consumed too much sodium, you just got to slow it down. So they'll do a serving, maybe double the serving on the nutrition facts here. I don't feel too guilty, but that's so refreshing. Refreshing is not even the right word. It's if you like cheese, just, just get these things. And one thing I, I wanted to point out on the back here, lactose free, um, we're gonna to have to get some experts in here to test that claim. I don't know if, if you have lactose toler intolerance, if, if you can actually eat these, I would be interested to know because if so, that's a game changer. I know a lot of lactose intolerant friends really like they love cheese, but they have to decide like, do I want do I want the pleasures of cheese tonight? Knowing that it's gonna be coming with the, the uncomfortableness of everything that follows. Uh, and some people, God bless them, they still make that decision. They said, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna fight the war and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat that cheese. And then it's gonna it's gonna do things to me later, but it's worth it because I love cheese. So if if you're that person and you just don't want the after effects, maybe whisper for you. You can get the cheese flavor and the lactose free. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the best things in sliced bread for you. Uh, well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Jam with Laura Reporting Live. We'll see what's in the kitchen next week. Uh, but here, signing off with some cotton candy grapes, some honey citron tea mango from Balance Grow, and some Asiago and pepper jack wisps. Join us next time. Bye bye.